Why does pericarditis cause ST elevation on EKG that looks just like a myocardial infarction? This is super high yield for the USMLE, so let me break it down. I'll first start by asking you a question. If ST elevation generally means myocyte injury, so why does inflammation of the pericardium, which isn't even a heart muscle, cause the same ECG finding? Here's the key. Pericardial inflammation doesn't stay just confined to the pericardium. It extends into the superficial epicardial layer of the myocardium beneath it. This is called as myopericarditis. So you do have myocyte injury in pericarditis, but it's diffuse across the entire epicardium surface of the myocardium and it's not localized to one coronary territory like in myocardial infarction. Now some students will say, how do I tell pericarditis apart from myocardial infarction? Here's the pattern recognition USMB wants. Myocardial infarction gives you focal ST elevation in leads corresponding to one coronary territory with reciprocal depression in opposite leads. Pericarditis on the other hand gives you diffuse ST elevation across multiple leads that doesn't fit one coronary distribution and crucially there is no reciprocal depression except maybe in AVR. The ST segments have a concave up scooped up appearance in pericarditis not the convex tombstone shape of STEMI. And here's the poll. Look for PR depression. Pericardial inflammation affects atrial repolarization, causing PR segment depression. PR depression is actually more specific for pericarditis than ST elevation itself.